Hello everyone, Amanda here, thanks for joining me. So in this video I'm going to show you how I have decorated this beautiful um, journal cover which I've created from fabric and chipboard and then I've gone on to decorate in a shabby chic style. Absolutely beautiful. So sit back and enjoy the video, I'm going to show you how this was created. Hello everyone, Amanda here, thanks for joining me. So I am in the process, I don't know, do anybody want that? Uh, of making a shabby chic journal for a friend. Um, I've kind of done some of the inside, I've constructed the cover, I've wrapped it in this vintage, uh, genuine vintage material that I found in a charity shop in Whitby. <laughs> um, I just need to put the ephemera in but I thought I'd come and share doing the decorating the cover um, because it, I don't want it to stay like this. Um, it's vintage fabric but I'm not that mad keen on it if I'm honest. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I need to decorate the cover. So I've got a I can't extend my camera enough to show you the heap of stuff that I've got on my desk. I've got piles of it because I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. Um, yeah, so, but what I've decided is that I want, because it's shabby chic, rather than just doing what you'd imagine and sticking a pretty lady on the front, I'm going to use this um, button card I completely made. It's, this is a printable. Um, it's from some pool designs on Etsy if you want in it um, and I think it's called French Haberdashery and then these are little cut apart and the buttons are made I've got a video on it uh, I'll uh, leave it as a suggested so I want that to be the focus okay and then I've got several other things like photographs that I might layer up I'm not sure not sure about that one. I don't know. I don't know if I want that one's bleached out a little bit. Um, what else have I got? I've got my little. That's not right. Um, I've got these little photos. I don't know what that is. What's that? Don't know, but I quite fancy that somewhere. I don't want to go under there. I think I might layer that under there. I like that little piece of random paper. I have no idea what it is. What is it? Oop on Marsh. No, 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 no. Uh, I think it's a, a label for cotton. Sewing cotton, mother. I'm just going to ink that. And I'm just going to add it to this. To this um, button card. Sorry if I'm erming. I do erm quite a lot when I'm filming. Uh, I'm not normally stuck for something to say, but I've had quite a busy day today. We've been to the coast, sea glass collecting, because I do love the sea glass. Um, and I'm a little bit tired, if I'm honest. <laughs> I had a bit of a nana nap. <laughs> and I thought I need to get this done because I need to get it finished. Because I've got other things and other journals that I need to do, which, as always, I have procrastinated and left them to the last minute. Right, so I've got this snippet that I did. I've got a video on this. I did a massive snippet piece. Um, don't know if that's right, because it's not going to wrap around the spine properly. So because my, my cover is a little bit, it's not complete, I've got to put the inside, it's a little bit tight, I need to wiggle it around. The reason being, I, you know, I know how to do chipboard covers, but I don't think I've quite left enough space in between the covers and the spine to account for the fact that I was going to wrap it in thick fabric. I don't normally have any problem opening and closing my books. This one's a little bit stiff, so I'm going to have to play with it a bit before I send it out. And it, it, it's because I've not allowed enough space there. But never mind, you'll live and learn. I'll remember next time. I don't normally wrap chipboard in fabric. I normally either do chipboard covered in paper or I'll do fabric and it's soft, you know. Um, so it's a bit of a learning curve. Right, so I, th I quite like this. This is a vintage one that I've had in my collection quite a long time I think I like that because I think if I 
it's look at that it's just the right it's just the right height that's fit isn't it so if I wrap that around and give it a bit of a pull I could maybe put my seam binding or whatever ever I'm using through those holes and use it as a closure as well yeah let's get that on I like that so I'm using my Fabri-Tac well it's not Fabri-Tac it's Beacon but I do believe they are made by the same people oh my husband's just arrived home so I'm just going to pause the video because it'll make a load of noise and I don't really want it on my video. Won't be a moment. Okay, so we're back. This is actually a completely different day. <laughs> so it's been filmed in two halves. So this is where I was up to. I had glued this onto there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tack it in the middle and at the corners there. Um, and then uh, pick up my train of thought. Um, I look, when I left you... It was Thursday night and it's now Friday uh, morning. <laughs> uh, but um, family first, so unfortunately, we're doing it in two halves, it's fine. So I'm adding the glue and I'm adding sparing glue. Now, this is fabric glue, so when it dries, it shouldn't dry, you know, where it's hard to the touch, it shouldn't. If you put too much on it will, but if you're sparing with it, it won't. And I'm putting it on where the crocheting is the most thick, you know, where the stitches have been joined together and stuff, um, so that it's not hard to the touch. Okay, but I want it to stick on nicely. Okay, so I'm just going to pull it just a little bit, not like really tight. Just a little bit. Don't want it tight, otherwise when I open the um, covers, it'll not be, you know, a nice. But this should be nice and flexible because it's cotton. Okay. And then we'll do the same on the back. Okay, so less is definitely more uh, when you're gluing fabric I think so that you don't end up end up <laughs> end up some people will just use hot glue which is fine um, but that does can if you're not really quick and you don't press it down really quick it can dry with hard lumps I'm not a huge fan of hot glue um, for other than like adding on like really dimensional embellishments you know, I see, um, I've seen very renowned paper crafters as well using hot glue to, uh, you know, make album pages and, and I'm like, eh? <laughs> Why would you do that? I don't know whether it's for quickness or... I don't know. Each to their own. It's not for me. Not for me. Okay, so that should have tacked down and I've just pulled it so that it's protruding there because um, as I said earlier I'm hoping to use this as part of my closure right so let's start and layer up now um, so I want to use this I may well just leave it so that I could maybe slip something down the back so I'm going to just glue it on three sides I'm not sure I'm not sure if I'm going to slip a little secret something down the back. Let's see how sturdy it feels. Okay, so I'm putting this. I want it central. Kind of central. Maybe just a little bit up. Yeah. In fact, I don't think I'm going to be able to tuck anything down the back because we've got that, that doily there, haven't we? You know what? I think I want some fabric under there. Let me just get that tacked tack, tack down onto there so that it's anchored. Do I want some fabric here? I think I want some of this sort of 
here. Yep, I do. Right. I do, I doodle doodle do, I do. So I'm just going to cut that and then I'm just going to just, just do this. Just so it doesn't look like it's been cut in a straight line. Which it has been, but <laughs> we don't want it to look like it has. So this is uh, some fabric, it's beautiful. I've not got much of it left. And it's got like uh, embroidery there, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add some, some glue under there. And I can be a bit generous with it at this stage because the card on the top is going to hide anything. It's going to cover any sins there that are, you know, if it's a little bit bulky the glue are. And I've just, um, one thing I just did do off camera was I found these little gold book corners um, and added those on so don't know if I did mention but this book is for a friend it's not going to be for sale but I'm going to be making some more that I'm going to be selling okay I found a place where I think I can sell online without being ripped off uh, like Etsy rips people off it just rips creators off it's awful how much they charge and I'm not, uh, although I'm not going to say I'll never use Etsy again, because I probably will, but I just think it's really unfair on people. Very, very unfair. But, it is what it is. Right, let's have a look. So, I did also decide that I'm not going to have one of these and I, I quite liked that but I think it's a bit dark so then I come across this one um, which came in the same kit as the button card and it's not got a person on but it's kind of shabby with a, like a dresser and um, shabby kind of ornamental things on there that uh, Sam's done and I, th I think that's just something a bit different. I'm having it. We're having it. It's pretty. So inside the journal um, is kind of quite eclectic. So I've used quite a lot of different things um, out of my collection and stuff that I've made. Um, I'll come and do a flip through. I'm hoping to finish it today stroke Saturday and show it you on Saturday well I don't know whether I'll show it you on Saturday Saturday is meant to be uh, ephemera day but we'll see so I'm just going to tack that down now so that it doesn't lift and get torn because we're definitely having it there same there and same with these one second. Okay, where was I? <laughs> I don't think I'm destined to finish this video. Because every time I get anywhere, the phone rings or the door goes. <laughs> right, we've got that on there. Let me just uh, remember my train of thought. I, I quite like to have something on here. So let me just have a look. Let me just move it a minute. Let's have a look what we've got. So these are all my fussy cuts from that kit. There's actually quite a lot. I'm going to do another... I'm going to do another, so I've got enough here to do another, uh, which I will be selling. Do, 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 do. I want something small. Mm. No, that says Xmas. What's this? 1870. No, that's a contender. Let's have a look. What else have we got? What's these? No. Uh, no. That's another contender. So much in this little kit took me ages to cut them all and all. It did take me quite a while, I'm not going to lie. But I like uh, just sitting and fussy cutting while I'm watching. Oh, that's nice. While I'm watching... Um, 
other people on YouTube. I uh, quite like that. Right, let's just have a look. So, it's got a bit of a white border, which I don't want. So, let me just trim that off. So it's Good Friday today, so happy Good Friday. I don't um, particularly celebrate religious holidays myself, um, but obviously, you know, it's tradition, isn't it? Uh, Easter. Even if you're not religious, it's still traditional. Well, it is in UK anyway. Uh, da, 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 da. So there's some weird and wonderful Easter traditions that go uh, uh, that go on throughout Europe. I've been uh, I was listening to a lady from Slovakia, and then Bohemian Crafts has mentioned before about their Easter traditions, and they are very bizarre, very bizarre. <laughs> All we do really is those who are, you know, faithful will go to church and reflect and things like that. And then the rest of us, you know, it's kind of tradition here to buy chocolate eggs. Nice commercialised uh, garbage, but, you know, but sometimes it's really fun and the younger ones will do Easter, Easter egg hunts and things like that. Uh, it's a, t been turned into a bit of a hallmark holiday, hasn't it? A bit of a consumer thing rather than the original real reasons. But there you go. C'est la vie. I think I'll have this one on the top. I'll have this one on the top. If that's if I can distress it without... So I fancy going to the coast again, but I've been to the coast once already this week because we like to collect sea glass. And I feel like going again, but it's just the roads are just going to be shocking. Um, you know, um, the UK is not massive. It's not a massive island. And so when, when it's a bank holiday and everybody's off work, everybody descends on the coasts and the nice places to go and visit and the roads get the shocking. They get they get terrible, so I may well just stay home, um, do a bit of gardening and a bit of crafting. <laughs> That's a good excuse, isn't it? I don't need any any further excuses to uh, stay inside and craft. <laughs> Well, that just makes that a little bit different now. Is that straight? I don't know if that's terribly straight. Let me just see if I can pull it over a bit. There we go. Now, it's not going to lie flat, isn't that? Because we've got this here. So what I'm going to have to do, I think, is put a couple of foam I think I'm going to have to put some foam just at the back of there um, because it's going to lift whether I like it or not so I may as well make it part of the dance so I've just got two little foam dots I'm just going to put it at the back corner of there there we go that's better so we've got a bit of dimension going on there as well, which is nice. Do I want a butterfly? <laughs> Shall I leave it as it is? <laughs> I think I'm going to leave it. Um, so, oh, I quite like this as well. I found this earlier. Somebody's given it me. Um, which I quite like. Got some glue on there. I don't like the look of that. Let's see if I can... Just get that bit of glue off of there, if not, I need a, a get around because I don't like that. Don't like that. I wonder if I could stick a little bit of lace there. No. 
There we go, it's off. It's done. Right, so I don't know whether I want this on. I quite like it. Wrapped around there, but I don't know if it's a little bit overkill. Makes it a bit special though, doesn't it? A bit more special. If I do that and layer it. Do I want to layer it over the picture? Or shall I wrap that bit around the back? To give the back a bit of fancy. Or shall I just leave it off? Oh, I'd not a less is my person, am I? Let's get it on. <laughs> Let's get it. Let's get it on. Okay. So what I'm going to do first of all is put a heavy amount of glue on the centre of the florets where I know it's not going to, where I you know you're not going to see it, and then use that to anchor it down. I want those central. Okay. Let me find this kind of centre of the book and see if I can just lay it flat, give it a press and then anchor the rest of these down. I think that's going to be really pretty. Hopefully it's not going to be too much and detract away from the look of anything else. If I glue it while it's flat, open like that, then when it shuts, it shouldn't, shouldn't pull. And then we've got the closure to make, so let's have a look, see what we can do. Fancy putting a little bit of bling here as well. Don't know what I've got. I'll have to have a look. Let's see if we can get this tapped down. Okay, so I'm just following the um, cord in there on the... On this beautiful applique. I cannot for the life of me remember where this has come from but I haven't bought it so somebody along the way somewhere has sent me this. I can't remember. I can't remember who sent it in all honesty. Okay, a little bit there. This is maybe where some hot glue would come in handy but I don't want it to go hard. Just because it dries immediate, doesn't it? Whereas here I'm having to, you know, I need to wait for that to dry and grab the, grab it. Okay. So I'll tack it down so that it's not going to come off, so you can see. And then probably after the video, I'll probably go around and do some more, you know, make sure it's um, adhered really, really well. So I think that's beautiful. I'm glad I added that now. So yeah, it's going to need some help. Um, so I'll finish gluing that down. I'll finish gluing that down in a minute. So I want to do this closure now. I've got a little fancy. You know when you just know what's in your stash? I know I've got a little diamante button somewhere. Let's see if I can find it. Is that it? No. I think it's in this. There it is. I knew I had it. You know when you've just got something in your mind? And it's this little, because to me it looks quite vintage -y. Um And I would quite like it just there. I don't know if I'll be able to get the shaft off. Let's try. Oh, I've done it. It's come off. Easier than I thought. Easier than I thought. And I'm just going to stick it there, I think. Yep. Okay. Just 
for a little bit of bling. I might need hot glue for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set that to dry a minute whilst I do what I need to do to make the closure. I'm going to use seam binding. So let me just grab some. Um. Cut it in half, scrunch it up in a ball to make it nice and crinkled and then bring my journal over and we'll have, how's this going to work now, let's have a think. Hmm. There isn't like a central hole, I don't think. Is that? Yeah, it's fine. I'll... So there's a hole each side there, and then there is a central hole there, but it's very small. Um, so if I do it through both of those, like that. Then it gives me a little bit more, you know, when you're pulling on it, it's a bit more substantial. If I went in that little hole there, it might end up tearing over time. Is that glued? Yep, that's glued. So let's put the other one at the other side. Where are we? That one's kind of got one. So they're not even. Hmm. Okay, never mind. We'll do that. There. I want it the other way. No, that's fine. We're not messing about. It's only to keep it closed. So there we've got a nice shabby closure. We can tie in a nice big bow and have it all nice and... I might put some beads on there later. So there we go. That is it. I just need to finish tacking those down. And that is the lovely Shabby Chic journal cover completed. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope uh, it's helped to inspire you in your journal making. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.